All right, family. So for this first activity, um, I want us to focus on the noun family. Um, if your students are not quite familiar or comfortable with nouns by themselves, I would recommend that they um, create a book or label the environment. Um, so some other activities or just a review over nouns um, for students to remember that nouns are a person, place, thing, animal or idea. Um, and so for the activities, again, they can label the environment so they can write down table, write it on a piece of paper, write down table, draw a picture of, of a table, um, or they can, um, you can do a game if you want to be involved with them or engage with them. Um, you can say, bring me a pencil, bring me the phone. Um, those different types of activities, that way they um, just become more familiar with what nouns are. And then um, kind of similar to labeling the environment, they can create a noun book. Um, so again, they could find things at the, in the house, that way if you're working um, or if you're doing something else at home, they can create their own book and you kind of see where they are with spelling um, and if they can name the things in their environment. Um, another activity would be a scavenger hunt. Um, so they could read a book and maybe you can say, find or name all of the people in the book, name all of the animals in the book, name the things in the book. Um, so those are different types of activities that you can do with students who may need a little bit more help um, and support with nouns. So after they do the nouns, um, kind of similar to the labeling the environment, um, or bring me a activity, um, you can have them start to work on the article and adjective. So first and foremost, something that we taught the students is that um, the article and the noun are kind of like best friends, okay? So you're going to find some type of article with a noun. Now there are three different articles, and they are a, an, and the. So to kind of get the students familiar with what we talk, talk, taught them, excuse me, is that a, an, and the, an is used when the next word starts with a vowel. So the vowels, of course, are a, e, i, o, u. And so I have an apple here, <laughs> okay? So again, it's something that can be really fun, um, really engaging at the, at the house and just creative. The students can come up with it. So you would label, Write it down. You could cut this in half. I don't have my scissors with me. <laughs> so the symbol again for articles is the light blue pyramid. Um, of course, with it being on a paper, it's two dimensional, so it'll be a triangle. So I would write an apple. Um, and then going back, while I have the black marker out or pencil, color pencil, I would put a big black triangle above apple. This again helps them to associate the symbol with the parts of speech. And then you would use the light blue for the article. And it'll be a little itty bitty light blue triangle and apple so that's that then you have a and the now sometimes a and the can be a little mixed up it can be kind of hard so what we try to teach the students is um let's say for example i have two markers Now, if I say, can you bring me a marker? The students will say, which marker? Um, but if you don't say a specific marker and you just say, can you hand me a marker? The student may grab the orange one or the blue one, but you never specified to them or you weren't specific about which one you wanted and you don't really care which one you 
which mark can you get? You just want a marker. So then you would use the word A. So that is like a general, a general statement or a general thing. A marker. Again, symbols. And the students really love these activities because um, they realize that they use parts of speech all the time when they speak. But this is just bringing it to their attention. So a marker. Um, now, if I want a specific object or um, yes, a specific object, you would say, can you bring me the, the bucket? Or in this case, which you're gonna move on to the next thing, um, the green bucket or the green pail. So I would write the green pail. Pail is the noun, because it's a thing. Of course, the, the is the article, because A N and the are articles. And that's a little triangle. But now, I added a word, green. So green would be the adjective because I am describing the pale. The students can also, again, if they are familiar or comfortable with nouns and articles, you can start to have them do the adjectives. So not only are they grabbing the object or the person, but they are now describing it. Um, and I will go over in the next video of different types of adjectives. That way the students can be more familiar with them. And again, they can realize how much or how often they use adjectives in their daily language.